So a guy inside of my men's community ended up seeing a woman out in Miami and then she flew out to see him the following week or weekend, something along those lines. And he posted this question at me and he goes, need advice. And this was a very good topic. This is a very in-depth, you know, question that I can actually handle and help him with to show you why this woman pulled away because Guys, these are real life examples. See, that's the thing. This isn't just about, you know, female nature concepts or hypergamy concepts or things of that nature. What this actually is, is this is a real guy having a real circumstance. And because of that, I'm going to go through exactly the question that he asked me line by line. And I'm going to give my honest take and my honest response. And I'm going to show you exactly what I told him. So this is going to be well worth your time because chances are you will be able to apply this video to your dating life currently. So let's dive in. His subject line was need advice. He goes, so I met this dope girl a few weeks ago and spent the weekend with her in Miami. Okay, so right off the bat, here's what I can tell you. If he finds her dope or cool, the chances of him ending up showing his interest level already is pretty high because he likes her on an attraction level that includes personality. So he goes, she was super into me a little over the top, honestly, for how long I've known her. We had a ton of fun in Miami. Okay. When I read that, I instantly think he believes there's mutual chemistry. So fast forward to the next paragraph. He says the next weekend we met up again in South Carolina. He goes, I flew her out. It was a cheap 1.5 hour flight. Okay, so now he's invested resources and he's invested time with this woman for a second week. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's a girl that he just met and now what's happened is he's now spent basically from what it sounds like two weekends with her. He goes, she had a blast again, clearly is super into me and honestly somewhat attached, already is cooking me food, doing my laundry, super comfortable around me, things are moving fast which I don't necessarily think is a good sign. Yes, anytime you see something moving fast, I want you to default to my original statement that I used to say months ago. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. Okay, keep that in mind. Now he goes on to say, I like her a lot. Okay, so that's good and that's bad. Like, I'm glad you found someone you like and you enjoy on a personality level. But what we know about hypergamy is that the more you like her, the less she likes you. And that's just the cold hard truth we have to accept. He goes, I like her a lot, so I want to maintain this and not have things fizzle out. After I dropped her off at the airport, we both texted each other saying that we had a great time together. In my opinion, once again, it's more communication, it's more interest that you're revealing. He goes, I left her on red and just hearted her last message. Haven't messaged her in two days. I'm almost certain she's constantly thinking about me and wants to see me again soon. Here's what I can tell you. Anytime you have thoughts or feelings like that, when you say, I'm almost certain she's constantly thinking about me, what I can tell you is you have no idea what she's actually thinking. She might be, maybe, but it's 50-50. She could be thinking, you know, this is moving too quick. I want to take a step back. And she might actually not be thinking about you at all. He goes, I'm almost certain she's constantly thinking about me and wants to see me again soon. He goes, should I eventually text her or just wait till she texts me? He says, I'm trying to have the frame that I have an abundance of options. And I'm also very busy working on my business. I also have been viewing her stories on social media, but have not engaged with them at all. This week, she is also busy with a work trip. He goes, very interesting dynamic here because of the fact that we are long distance. He goes, but it's a short, cheap flight. Okay, I'm going to definitely help this guy out and I'll show you what my reply was. Here is what you have to know. Okay, anytime you are in this situation where you met the girl and you like her, your gut feeling and your gut intuition will always lead you astray. You're going to tell yourself this circumstance is not typical. You're going to naturally tell yourself that this circumstance is different. You're going to tell yourself all of these things to make your situation and circumstance feel different. But the truth is that is never the case. Once your thoughts, feelings, and emotions get intertwined with these situations, it's very hard to see things for what it is factually. And because of that, this gets very hard. So I will show you what I actually replied to him. So obviously, as he's wondering, you know, what's going on, I told him the truth. So my reply was seeing her two times that fast is what did it. Flying her out too after you just saw her is way, 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 way too much investment. 
It ruins the hypergamous nature of women wanting mystery and wondering what you are doing. And then I told him, seeing her that quick again signals no pre-selection and no other options. I said to him, you've also revealed your interest level so she knows that you like her. By flying her out, she subconsciously goes, why does this man need to see me again or want to see me again so fast? I said to him, there's no discrepancy now in sexual market value and she feels that she's above you and can do better. And I told the truth. I said, and just like that, it's over forever. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. It would have been better if you flew out a different woman the next week and she caught wind of it. I said, I'd recommend going through the entire Language of Women program that I made for you guys inside of the community. Now, I blocked out everybody's name just for privacy, but one of our community members gave their opinion on his circumstance. And he said, these girls that get obsessive super fast also flip on you the fastest he says they'll go from so obsessed with you to discarding you overnight with zero remorse tread carefully so that was our community member who gave that response then the man who asked the original question messaged him back and goes interesting perspective i certainly don't disbelieve you noted and once again i tried to give the honest truth and I replied to the community member who gave his opinion on the original guy's circumstance. And what I said was, I go, in this situation, though, it's purely overinvestment. He liked her too much. Now there's no discrepancy in sexual market value. Now it's over. He saw her too much too quickly. Spending that many days in a row with a woman will do it too. So guys, here's what I can tell you. Inside of this movement, inside of this community where these guys come together, if you talked to any of the guys in here, I do not sugarcoat things. That's what you have to understand. I'm here to actually give men the raw, honest truth that they need to actually succeed with dating, to actually succeed with female nature. And here's what I can tell you. Majority of the time, it's very uncomfortable. Majority of the time, it actually hurts to hear. Majority of the time, you don't want to hear these things. And the worst part about it is this. When you're sitting you know, at home by yourself watching videos like this and you are 100% alone in isolation, do you understand how hard it is to digest these truths? It is the most uncomfortable thing because you sit there and you reflect on all of your past circumstances with women and it is one of the most mentally exhausting things that a guy can do and I've been there and that is why I made this movement that is why I made this community that is why I made this brotherhood for men to actually come together because when you have a true support network in your corner with guys on this same path mastering the language of women coming together giving real life feedback with me giving you over the shoulder guidance do you see the massive advantage that you now have not only with your mental stability but with your dating life you understand this is why I made this, correct? Now, the man who originally asked his question, who flew out the girl to see him, he replied back to me and he goes, Casey, I think there's still a discrepancy. I've kept myself collected and not acted too interested in all honesty. He goes, other than flying her out, spending two days in a row with her, he says, but that's because she's out of my state. So one day escapade wouldn't have been practical. He says, she has made comments that allude to her thinking that I have status or I'm popular and have other options. He says she actually made a comment about befriending my neighbors slash baking them a cake so they would tell if I had any visitors, lol. He says to give some more context, we met in the airport on the way to Florida where she lives. He says she was eye-fucking me for 20 minutes before she sat next to me and started to talk to me. She has basically been chasing me the whole time. He says it's also quite obvious to her that I make very good income. So I think the cheap flight didn't come off as too much of an investment. Here's where I'm going to disagree. Anytime you're doing things like that, the price tag is irrelevant. It's the fact that you're doing it. Okay. And we've all made mistakes like that in the past, myself included. It takes learning from these mistakes to actually grow as a man. And that's what I've realized too, is we cannot grow as men until we come together. This is why consuming this type of stuff in isolation is nowhere near as powerful as having guys in your corner. So he says, it's also quite obvious to her that I make very good income. So I think the cheap flights didn't come off as too much of an investment. He says, I see what you're saying though. For the most part, I completely agree. Anything that can be done to salvage things here. He says, I still feel like I'm in the driver's seat. She seems a lot more interested in me than I do in her. Well, here's what I can tell you. If you're the one typing paragraphs and you're the one asking if it can be salvaged, what I can tell you is if I can feel your high interest there's a very high chance she can too. Because here's what you have to remember. At all times, 
you will tend to give off certain feelings through body language, through eye contact, through how you, you know, talk to the woman, all of those things add up. So if she sees small little micro nuances in your sub communication, plus on top of that, you guys saw each other two weeks in a row, she's going to start to see that you have interest in her. And there's just no way around that. So this was the last message that I had to him. I said, I know that this feels like it's a unique and not typical situation, but unfortunately, hypergamy is very cut and dry. Even if you feel that there is logical justification for your reasons, women's attraction doesn't care or notice. Flying any woman out is an investment level. And I put in parentheses, I put, it shows you don't have a girlfriend in your hometown. And then I said, spending days in a row with any woman will decrease desire no matter what. And then I told him, if she pulls back, pull right back with her and see what happens and see if she re-pursues. So that is the truth, guys. You always have to be very aware of this. You have to be aware of not over-pursuing. And what you have to do is you have to remove yourself from the situation of thinking you're unique or this circumstance is unique because the truth is, all of this comes down to attraction. And once you actually understand hypergamy to probably the level that I just broke it down for you in that, you know, text message, that's going to help give you the clarity in your dating life that you're actually looking for. And it is only when men actually come together to understand and internalize these truths together that men actually start to change the way we think about dating and the dating dynamic can actually be restored. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.